What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today it's a real Steven Womack tutorial because as you know I read all of your comments. I also read your DMs that you send me on Instagram. Uh, thank you so much for, for engaging with me. And you guys asked me how I edit my own pictures uh, which is really flattering to me. It's an honor that you want to know how I edit my pictures. Um, so today I'm going to show you exactly uh, a step-by-step -step tutorial how I edit my pictures. I use two apps. The first app, of course, uh, Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, and the second app is called Navy. They're both linked um, under this video for Android and iPhone. If you haven't seen my edits yet, check out my Instagram account. My handle is at Stephen Womack. Let me know what you think about it. I'm always open for conversation, so um, I'd be happy to hear from you. Also leave some comments, let me know what you think, give me a thumb up if you like the video and if you haven't already, maybe also subscribe to my, to my YouTube channel um, just to show support and love and also not miss out on any of the tutorials that I make for you. If you want some presets, uh, check out my website, link is also under the video. I've said enough, once again, let's get started. This is how I edit my pictures for Instagram. So first of all, once again, we want to open up the Lightroom app and then open up the picture. Now, in this picture, um, this is my go-to picture. I chose it, um, I took it in Barcelona and I chose it because I really like the lighting of it and um, I also really like the outfit with the plain white shirt. So first of all, we check out the light and we hit the curve. Now, this is already a slight S curve. Um, I want you to copy the curve exactly like it is. Uh, just pull up the first uh, first button just a little bit, the first circle, and the last one down. And in between, just create the slight S curve. Um, take a look as it is here and copy it exactly as it is in this picture. Now, once you have that copied, you're done here. And we go over and um, the exposure. In this case, we want to leave at zero but the contrast you want to pull down a little bit to about negative 20 or negative 19. Now the highlights we also want to pull down to about negative 21 and uh, the shadows we want to boost them up to about plus 24. Uh, the whites we want to pull them down to about negative 16. Uh, the blacks in this case we also want to pull them down to about negative 24. Now, once you have this, the light is done. So we jump over to the color. For the temperature, in this case, we wanna make it a little warmer. So we pull it up to about plus six is perfect. Um, we're gonna leave the tint and the vibrance and just pull down the saturation all the way to negative 41 is perfect here. Now, we hit the color mix on the upper right and um, I see the red tones are already um, prefixed. This is exactly what you want to do. Plus 13 on the hue, negative 9 at the saturation, and negative 14 for the luminance. Now we jump over to the orange tones. What you want to do here is um, just uh, pull down the hue just a little bit to about negative, negative 8. And the saturation, I want you to boost a little bit to about plus 8. And um, then the luminance, I want you to pull down to about negative 12 to get a little darker skin tone. Now we jump over to the yellow tones. What you wanna do here with the hue is pull it all the way down to the orange area to about negative 26. And the saturation, I want you to pull all the way down to about negative 100. And um, the luminance, we want to we want to boost that to about plus, plus, 60, plus 60 in this case. Now the greens, what you want to do here is just pull out the saturation all the way to negative 100. The aqua tones, what we want to do here is a hue of negative uh, 51 is perfect. And um, a saturation of 14 and the luminance just a little negative negative nine is perfect. Now we jump over to the blue tones. For the hue, we pull down to negative 15, and um, the saturation also down to negative 
33. Now for the luminance, we also want to make it a little darker to about negative, negative, negative 11 is perfect. And we jump over to the purple tones. What we want to do here, pull the hue all the way to the blue area, negative 100. The saturation down to about negative 31 is perfect. And leave the luminance at zero. Jump over to the pinks and uh, boost the hue to about plus 29. The saturation down to negative 50. 5, 56 is perfect, and also leave the luminance at zero. So we're done here uh, with the color mix. We jump over to the effects panel. Now as always, or as very often, we want to boost the clarity in this one as well. So we pull that up to about plus 29 is perfect. And um, we're going to also pull up the dehaze to about plus 21 and uh, leave the rest as it is. Now we go up to the split tone button. Now for the highlights, we wanna pull over to the blue area to about 223 and a saturation of 13 is perfect. Now for the shadows, we wanna stay in the orange area. So we go over to about uh, 28 and a saturation of seven is perfect and now what we want to do is pull the balance up a little bit so we're gonna pull the balance into the highlights to about plus 10 is perfect now we're done here the last thing we're gonna do now is jump over to the details and just noise reduct a little bit to about 19 and um, also color noise reduct 16 just to soften it out and that's it, uh, that's my go-to look right now. The next thing I usually do to my pictures is I add the little sprinkles and spots in, in an app called Maybe, um, which I'm gonna show you now. So we save the picture to our camera roll and um, we go over to an app called Maybe. Now I add photo, there it is, all photos, and I open it up. And now we have these sprinkles and uh, dusts down here, we're not gonna use the premium ones, but we're gonna use the B. And it always works good in the shadows. You see those white sprinkles and white spots it adds. Um, and we're just gonna pull down the uh, opacity, I guess. Um, it affects how much the sprinkles are gonna uh, come up in your picture. So we're gonna pull that down a little bit um, to about here. That's it already. I'm hitting save. That's my look. Here's a little before and after, so you can compare. Um, let me know how you like it. There you have it guys. Uh, I hope this is what you expected. Uh, I hope you like this video and I'm super curious to see what you guys come up with, how you use this edit maybe, and how your pictures turn out. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your feelings, and also maybe tag me on your posts and I'll see the pictures directly. Just comment your request for the next video under this video. Subscribe to my channel, check out my website. Um, if you have some time. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for the love, the support, and um, peace.